Hey, people, back at it again. So I'm super excited today because somebody said to me, do you mind reacting to, do you mind reacting to Whitney Houston singing, I love the Lord? And I said, no, because who minds? Well, people might mind. I certainly for one don't because I love the Lord as well. I said, who minds? Who don't mind? I don't mind. I don't mind. I don't mind. It's me. <laughs> I don't mind listening to Nippy talk about the goodness of the Lord and say that she actually loves the Lord. It's me. I don't mind it at all. <laughs> I, won't, I won't be offended at all. I love listening to that. I think she just took that song and she made that song her own and can't nobody tell me different. Can't nobody convince me differently. Like anything that she pretty much saying, it's just like it became hers. Dolly Parton's song, I Believe in You and Me from the Fourth. Like literally she just stole it she chose she picked the best songs for her voice and she picked the best time and her interpretive skills were unmatched and her just always expressing her ability to just love on jesus is just like yo i i'm not mad at it at all i'm not mad at it at all but i hope you're having a good day over there i'm ready to hear whitney talk about how much she loves the lord i think that we all know that she loved the lord do you know that do you know that to be true because it is whether you know it or not so i want to say thank you jade for this request for the live version from tokyo because whitney loved the lord with her whole heart and it was always evident and on every single song one of her favorite ad libs i think was hold on hold on you know i think she would just she would just slip it in somehow hold on you know oh lord put a little run on it just all of that so i i think she just whoa goodness gracious i feel the holy spirit right now I feel the Holy Spirit right now. She always talked well of the Lord and she loved the Lord with her whole heart. And I think God loved her. I know God loved her without a shadow of a doubt. And it wasn't something that she could fake. It was something that just oozed out of her. It was something that just came from her. It just grew up in her. It creeped up in her. You know what I'm saying? Her church runs. You know, she do her, you know, she would do her little, her little minor runs and riffs and she would just shake her head like this. You know, she would get excited hey, and do stuff like that. Woo! Hallelujah! This dress. Here we go. <laughs> this dress is bothering me. Yes. 
Yes, yes, yes. In that whole, oh, 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 I just did that with the da 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 da. But sing, Niffy! Sing, Niffy! Woo! She always expressed her heart's cry. I love that she loved the Lord, and I love that she was always bold about it. I appreciate that about her so much. Can I take you someplace with me? Will you go? Mm -hmm. So, when we go to church, which is where I want to take you right now, we get very excited, we get very happy. We may start to cry because we feel a joy like a river in our souls and we just have to let it out and, and sing praises. Always evangelizing, always making opportunity for the Lord, always quick to tell somebody about the Lord, always quick to just share her, her love for the Lord with people and so much so that she was very adamant and very intentional and very purposeful about including it in her shows, like always having that ode to her roots or her roots and gospel and her love for the Lord, always including a, a, um, a gospel song of some sort or some kind to pay homage to the Lord and to just share the good news of Christ and how much he blesses her and covers her and even with the band and the people that she traveled with. We travel all over the world together. We land and take off on many flights and we travel many buses and highways and byways and things of that nature. So we try to hold on to something very solid. Something that we can call on that we know will be there for us to help us when we are in our time of need. And I think that we all agree here on stage that God is true. I don't know what he means to you. And if I may, I would just love to take this moment and share my love for him with you. Amongst all the things that they went through and endured, and it's just a beautiful, powerful testimony. And it's just like, to, for a person of her caliber, her talent, her excellence, and her level of iconicness, I don't even know if that's a word, you know, to just create moments and space for God is just beautiful amidst all the regular stuff. Like, you know, like when you see somebody like Fantasia, it's like, we're gonna have fun. We're gonna enjoy ourselves. But it's just like, but I got to give honor to where honor is due. And I would not be here if it was not for God. If it was not for Jesus, I would not be here. And I must take a moment, you know, to tell you how much I love the Lord. And even like, there's different clips of these that I love. One of my other favorite clips is there's a version where she's like, um, in Berlin, you know, she's like, I love you too. Oh, you know I do. You know I do. So I must take a little time. I'll just say to him, I love you. I was like, yes, you better say it. You know, I love the Lord, don't you? You know I do. And I was like, yes, you better, you better tell him. You better tell him how much you love the Lord. So I'm gonna take a little time, woo, to say thank you. And then somebody's like, we love you too. And I'm like, come on, sir, you better, you better, you better chime in, sir. You better chime in. Anywho, it just really excites me. And then on the Paris version, I love that version because she starts talking about 
one of the questions that she asked Sissy when she was younger was just like, well, who made the oceans and who made the seas and who made the skies? And, you know, she was like, the Lord did it. Uh, uh, the Lord did it. And then it, it skips, which I don't like. But, you know, she's like, he loves you and you and you. <laughs> He first loved me. And I'm like, hello. <laughs> Clearly, you guys can tell how much I listen to this. I know the ad libs and all that. But I love it. And I love how she created space for the Lord and it always blesses my soul to hear it. I love her so much. And it's so awesome so awesome that she always shared the gospel she was bold in her faith everybody knew she loved the lord everybody knew a lot of different things about her but one thing that they could not deny as well is how much she loved the lord her reading her bible her praying her singing gospel and um one thing before i get off my box and talking about it is like i know before it was i love the lord i think she used to do like he i believe which is sissy song and it's such a powerful song and i love the words of it you know it's just like he can turn the tide he calms the, is it the angry, the angry seas? He alone decides who writes a symphony. Oh yeah, he, he lights every star that makes our bright days bright. And he, he keeps all watch all through every lone and lonely night. And he still finds the time to hear a child's first prayer. Saint or sinner call. Oh, you wait. Find them there. And even though it makes him sad to see the way we live, he always say that I forgive. Why can't we? forgive oh teach us how to forgive you know she sings it like that but i think i'll put that in the description so you don't have to hear me sing y'all can hear her sing with the music but i think it's so beautiful she just goes in and i love the song because it, re it reminds you too why you believe like for those that love the lord like it just reminds you like why i love the lord and one of the lines is like every time i hear a newborn cry you know or i see a leaf or i look at the sky like i know why it's like i remember why like i remember who i believe like i believe in god you know what i'm saying and it's just beautiful it's just beautiful she loved the lord i love the lord we love the lord for more than one reason i love the lord because he just he loves me unconditionally and he affirms me and he gives me guidance and clarity and when nobody else is there to talk to he ministers to me he gives me peace when i'm troubled and i have feel distressed and i feel like i can't talk to nobody god will answer me from his holy hill and zion like david said god will minister to me god will tell me it's okay god will remind me that it's all right god will send people to see about me god sees me in my greatest affliction and my need and he comes through without a shadow of a doubt and for that reason alone i love the lord hallelujah i love the lord i love the lord he heard my cry he saved my life he changed my mind he continues to make me a better person i just was a go with the flow kind of person i didn't even see what my life could potentially be but god has revolutionized the way that i see the world he's revolutionized the way that i interact with people he's revolutionized the way that i identify with my past issues and mistakes so much so that i thought that was my identity that i didn't believe that i was more than a conqueror and that i could be more than a conqueror through him that loves me and that since jesus overcame death hell and the grave that that means that there's a realm of possibility that exists beyond my mistakes beyond my failures beyond my errors beyond my flaws there's a whole world out there that i'm able to access because of what the lord has done for me and how the lord has made provision for me and he's going to guide me to it yea though i walk through the valley of the shadow of death i will fear no evil yea though i walk through the valley of insecurity yea though i walk through the valley of uncertainty yea though i walk through the valley of, of i don't know what tomorrow may bring i will not fear I will fear no evil. I will fear no rebuke. I will fear no rejection. I will fear none of those things. Why? Because the Lord is presence. His presence alone is with me. His rod and his staff, it comforts me. And he prepares a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Surely at the end, it says, surely goodness and mercy will follow me all the days of my life. Surely, surely this is not the end for me because God has more in store. It doesn't matter what I may face. It may not matter what tries to come up against me. Surely goodness and mercy will follow me all 
all the days of my life. For I am persuaded that nothing shall be able to separate me from the love of God. I love the Lord. 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 And the Lord will change your life. One encounter with Jesus. Hallelujah. One encounter with Jesus will change your entire world. Will change your entire world. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Woo! Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Lord, I pray for the people that have been curious about you. I pray that you would give them an unusual encounter. And I pray that it will not be connected to another human being. I pray there would be a supernatural encounter that would confirm for them how real you are. Beyond science, beyond logic, beyond our natural realm of reasoning. I pray that they would encounter you in such a way that they know that they know that they know that they know without a shadow of a doubt that you are real. That you are the only true and living God. That you are not the God that has been fashioned by human hands. But you are the Lord who has existed before you. The Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. I pray you would reveal your identity to them in a brand spanking new way that changes the church trajectory of their life from this moment, Lord, whether they watch the video all the way through or whether they just watch a portion of the video or whether the video just comes into the search results with the other videos, Lord, I pray that this video and I pray that this prayer would penetrate their hearts, Lord, I pray that you would penetrate their hearts and you would reconcile them to yourself in the name of Jesus, hallelujah, amen. Whew. I got fired up talking about the Lord, you guys. It just happens. It's just a well that bubbles over in our souls and we have to talk about it. We have to sing about it. We have to just share the good news of Jesus. You don't have to stay where you are. You don't have to remain broken. You don't have to remain bruised. You don't have to remain bitter. Hallelujah. Jesus can set you free. Jesus can remove that bitterness in your heart. Jesus can teach you how to forgive. The Holy Spirit can empower you to forgive. It is a decision we make. You may not think that you can do it, but God will help you to do it. Hallelujah. That's one thing I love about the Lord is that when I feel inadequate or I feel like I'm not qualified or I feel like I don't have what it takes, the Holy Spirit will be there to strengthen me, to speak life into me, to actually equip me with strength, to equip me with courage for this task, for this moment, for this situation. The Holy Spirit will actually pep talk me and give me scripture if I'm in my word and will actually affirm, you know, in relation to what God has called me to be and remind me, you are not what they say you are. You are this. You know, they, they may have said this about you, but this is what I created you for. This is what I established for you. Before you were even born, I established you to be this within the world. I established and I ordained for you to be this. We hadn't even talked about it and discussed it yet, but I already had plans for you. And not only did I have plans, I set the plans in motion. And nothing that they say will corrupt, pollute, distort, or delay this from taking place in your life as long as you're willing to do it. Hallelujah. 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 And even if you're not willing to do it, you know, God has ways. God has ways of forcing you into a corner so you can make a decision, a real decision. You can't run from him. There's nowhere that you can go. There's nowhere that you can escape. There's nothing that you can do apart from him that you, there's nowhere you can hide. That's basically what I'm trying to say. Like Psalm 139, there's nowhere you can hide. Whether you make your bed in hell or whether you make your bed in heaven, wherever you may go, God is there. His eyes, the eyes of the Lord are in every place beholding the evil and the good. God sees you. God sees you. So stop running from God. Run into God. Find out who God means to you, not on the faith of your grandma, your grandfather, the people in your family. Discover the Lord for yourself and let the love of the Lord change your entire world. Let it change your entire world. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Whoo. I'm grateful to be in a place where I don't have to apologize for that happening or taking place, but I'm grateful for God for moments like these where this happens on camera. So anywho, don't get bitter because life does get better. If you have another video request you want me to react to, comment below and drop the link so I know which version of the request you're talking about so we're both on the same page. All right. I appreciate it. Have a great day. Have a great week. And yeah, go in peace. Just go in peace this week. That's all I'm saying. Amen. Cool.